I'm terrible at it. I don't know how to write a good speech, so bear with me. I got better speeches coming up after me. <laughs> uh, hello, friends, parents, teachers, honored guests, and of course, the class of 2020. Yay! As we celebrate today, let me be the first one to congratulate each one and every one of you. Excuse me. As we celebrate today, let me be the first one to congratulate each and every one of you on your dedication, hard work, and commitment. And in doing so, are now less likely to spend the rest of your lives in your parents' basements or living in a van down by the river. I like the second one. Okay. Now is the moment that you have been preparing for the last 13 years of your school, of schooling. You will finally have the opportunity to make your mark in the world. Today, you'll be entering the real world armed with all the knowledge you have learned in high school to prepare you. In the coming months, each one of you will be going through changes. I'm sorry. I'll go through changes and no, it's not puberty, Rob. We're going through that. <laughs> what I mean is that each one of you will be experiencing a change in your daily life of some kind. Now, this may be scary, but also exciting at the same time. It is something you need to get used to, because one thing in life that is constant is always changing. Many of you will be attending college, trade school, or finding who you are and what you want to be. Moving away from your friends and family and leaving behind your familiar ways of life. For most of you, you'll be on your own for the very first time. Many of you will be attending college or some kind of formal training this fall. You'll be attending uh, uh, new classes, seeing new faces, on the noble pursuit of new knowledge. You'll have to make your own decisions, like what do I do, what do I want to be? What do I stand for? Is this pizza that has green fuzz on it okay to eat? <laughs> You'll have to toast your own Lego waffles, microwave your own chimichangas, and you'll learn to do your own laundry or spend a lot of money on Fruit of Loom underwear value packs. <laughs> what I'm trying to say is this. In order to grow and improve as people, you're going to have to step outside your comfort zone and take a chance every once in a while. Meeting new friends, learning new subjects, and also taking more chances. By changing and trying new things, you can understand where you fail, but more importantly, where you succeed and thrive in. In the class of 2020, I wish you all the best. And this one is for Rob. Rob is a quote from Rush. All the world's indeed a stage, and we are merely players, performers, and portrayers, each and other audience. So uh, 2020 class, go out to the world, go on that world stage, and shine. Congratulations. I'm sorry, we're going to have Rebecca come up now. Arena with hundreds of other students. Uh, we're in Chris's backyard. And um, that's okay. Uh, so let's be silly putty. And what does that mean, really? That means plans change, dreams stay true. Be silly putty, mold and shape around the changing plans so your dreams can come true. Life doesn't always give it to us easy. Barriers get in our way. Curveballs get thrown at you. COVID and injustice are great examples of that today. Here's a barrier from years past that maybe you've already conquered. 
So remember that first teacher that you didn't like? Everybody have it in their mind, yeah. right? Yeah. 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 Uh, the, the one that made it really tough on you? That didn't stand in your way, though, did it? <laughs> you molded and you navigated past that. Plans changed. Your dreams stayed true. And that's a nice silly putty note. Since kindergarten, this has been your dream and you have made it here. Now, make new dreams. Think about it. Mold your putty in your hand. Create that dream in your mind. Let that dream come from your mind into your hand and mark it in that silly putty. What is your dream? What is your dream? This is your last official lesson of school. So we, look around you, are your teachers. Here today as your teacher, these are those who love, cherish, and congratulate you the most. We can't wait to see your next dreams come true. Plans change, dreams stay true. Put this silly putty in your pocket, and as you walk from the graduation stage onto the stage for the rest of your life, frequently reach into your pocket, touch the silly putty, and always remember, molding and shaping around those changing plans will make your dreams come true. Go Bears, and congratulations. Can you hear me? Can you hear me? I sound like the Verizon guy. Hello there. Say it. General Kenobi. Ah, what a year. What a year. What a year. Let's see. I was king. Still don't know how the heck that happened. I kind of regret it. That is true. Uh, what else happened? Uh, the president got impeached. I'm not saying anything about that, but I'm just saying it happened. Spring Break got the downloadable content. And then, injustice happened. I'm coming up with this speech right now as I'm saying it, so sorry if it sucks. Well, all I gotta say is, guys, I'm gonna miss you when I go to North Dakota. I'll be an hour and a half away. Keep it right next to your mouth, guys. Sorry. I'm gonna miss you guys when I go to North Dakota. Can you still hear me? Guys, I hope wherever the road takes you, I hope it takes you good. I hope it takes you actually great. I hope your life will be legend. Wait for it. Gary. 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 <laughs> Gary. Sorry, it sucks. Gary. 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 Oh, wait, 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 wait. I forgot one more thing. <laughs> As king, I did bring some things to this empire. I brought peace, and I brought... <laughs> <laughs> I have brought peace, freedom, justice, and security to my new empire. <laughs> Don't make me kill you. Finish the quote, man. Star Wars. Whatever. Never mind. They're up. He's got his cap and gown. And now, yeah. So, uh, 
Uh, my name is Andrew Brown. I'm Owen's dad, uh, Lori, Owen's mother. And uh, just a congratulations to all of the class of eight. I didn't realize you were such a small class of 2020, but it's a distinguished group nonetheless. It's a small town. It's a small town it is, yes, Rob. And you still are king. Oh. king. So we just want to say uh, to our son, Owen, congratulations, Owen. Uh, we're very proud of you. Uh, we're proud of the young man that you have become. And we really look forward to uh, seeing what, what happens in your future, the accomplishments, uh, the, the good times, the bad times. You know, you, you live in a science fiction reality this, this year. Uh, it's not what any of us expected, but, you know, to all of you, you've persevered and you've gotten through the second half of a senior year that's unlike any that, uh, that any of us have ever experienced, probably. It's not what you would have expected, not what you would have hoped for, uh, but nonetheless, here you are and on the cusp of the next step forward. So congratulations to you, Owen. We love you. And congratulations to all of you guys. <laughs> My wife is already crying already, like she usually does, but uh, uh, it's, it's weird to sit up here um, and stand and see these guys and gals growing up. Um, it seems like the other day we just dropped off uh, Braden at the elementary school and ran into Connor and, and Alex, I mean, <laughs> and Mike. Uh, and to see him now, um, it's, it, 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 I'm very proud of what you become a man and what you, the capabilities or the uh, potential you have. Um, I was trying to think of a funny story, but I'm drawing a blank right now. But I think the only story I have about Braden is uh, a while ago, we started giving people nicknames. <laughs> and what happened and stuff, like, uh, let's see, anybody hear me maybe? Caleb, I always call him the big shooter, because he's always a basketball player and he's a big shooter. Oh, Nate Lunchbox. Nate, Nate Lundy, if you ever know Nate, we call them Lunchbox. He's always eating something. He's always got something in his hand. <laughs> And when he got older, we called him the lunch wagon because he got bigger. <laughs> uh, for Braden, we thought, uh, I think Mike came up with this one. Or did I? I don't remember. I think it was me. <laughs> so we, always, we were talking, Braden came up with names and nicknames, and I came up with, Braden should be Blister. And, then, and he asked me, why Blister? Because Braden always shows up after the work is done. <laughs> <laughs> so congratulations, son. And uh, do you want to say anything on it? Brady, uh, super, super proud of you. Super proud of all of you kids. It's been so fun to watch you all grow. And I really look forward to what this next chapter of your life will be. So now is the time for you to stop being the blister and start making it. <laughs> so, Braden, congratulations. Yay. Jalen's mom, and this is her dad, Joe, and we just want to say we're proud of you, and you guys have all come a long way and have all gotten just so far, 
And it's fun to see you guys grow, and I hope that when you guys go off to college that you find your ways back to each other when you come home. We're proud of you and the journey you've had. I just want to say I'm very proud of you and all your friends. I know you guys are very close, and I hope going forward everything gets a little more normal. You guys are actually able to go to school, especially you, because I've already subletted your room. say that uh, first off thank you to the Hansons for for hosting this really yeah. incredible yeah. Uh, day yeah. and, for, um, and for coming up with this idea I think it's really unique and we've all been kind of forced to have to um, make things work I think we all know that that's something we just had to um, kind of adjust to so um, that being said um, trust me I could sit up here for an hour and tell you stories about Connor but um, I won't bore you with those. Um, I just want to say that I'm incredibly proud of the young man that he has become. Um, as Chris mentioned, it doesn't, it just literally seems like yesterday that we were in the back of the elementary school and um, met Chris and Christine for the very first time and watched Braden and Connor grow up together has really been fun. Um, they also were in Cub Scouts together where Chris and I um, were den leaders and that those memories will live on forever. There's a lot of fun stories there. Um, but back, back to Connor. Um, incredibly proud of the young man that he has become. He has proven himself to be strong. Um, sometimes when I'm weak, I've leaned on him. Um, he is without a doubt one of my very best friends. And um, he's been through a lot, and he continues to prove what a strong young man he is, and I'm extremely proud. So, congratulations, son. No matter what you do in life, I know you will be successful. Congratulations. Always. I have? 
<laughs> Are you sure you're talking about this, me? Compliment. <laughs> this year has been a year of a lot of challenges. Um, he lost his grandma at the end of the last school year, and she was his best friend. And um, he started the year on a high note. And then things got a little crazy, but you kids have all adapted so well, and you're a good example of just having strong character and being good kids and not letting this get to you. Are you sure you're talking about the right people? Yes, I'm certain. <laughs> we love you, and we are very proud of you, and I love listening to him play the video games. <laughs> the laughter that I hear is hysterical laughter, and it just makes me so happy to hear him so happy. And thank While you. While we're murdering innocent And thank you for <laughs> Dad, are you crying? No, no I'm not crying. <laughs> um, are you sure you turned everything in? I'm the automotive instructor over here at White Bear Lake. I've had most of these uh, students in my class this last year. Not me. You were in my classroom <laughs> enough, but I should have gave you a grade. <laughs> may not have been a good grade, but... When Braden asked me to give this speech, I resorted back to my own educational experience, and the first question I asked was, how long does it need to be? <laughs> Braden then told me that it, you know, there was no time limit, since I'm from a family of Gabbers, I've settled on a four-hour speech. <laughs> um, I'll be nice to all of you. If you want to go use the bathroom now, I'll pause and wait. There'll also be an intermission so you can use the bathroom again before the second act. So, uh, anybody. But no worries. I'm just uh, kidding around. I'm going to make this brief uh, so we can continue on. When I think back over this last year, this has been quite the senior year for all of you. You've had to experience and deal with many things that no other graduating class has had to been through. From switching from in-person classes with your friends to distance learning at home by yourself. And trying to figure out current situations going on in the world and how you fit in it. This has been a school year like no one has predicted when we started back in September. As we approached the end of the school year, I started reflecting back to my own high school graduation. My class was the first class in about 25 years that was not able to have our graduation outside. Due to weather coming through, the administration made the call that we had to go inside to the gym. So instead of being out on a football field, my 300 classmates and I and our families had to pack into our gymnasium. At the time, my classmates and I all thought we all lost out on a lot since we were that first class in 25 years to not be able to have our, the tradition of our graduation outside. But as we reflect back now, I realize I didn't really miss out on much because I still got the experience with my friends. When I think back, I don't really remember the ceremony much, but I do remember my friends around me and the experience we had together. This is what I see from this group behind me. Each morning I would see the group walk in the halls together. During class, they would all work together on projects, like disassembling a vehicle's engine and transmission. <laughs> And I'm pretty sure their goal was to see if they could only do it with using a hammer. <laughs> uh, it's in the scrapyard in little quarter-sized pieces. It wasn't me, that's all I'm saying. To advisory where they'd hang out in my room and hide in the minivan. <laughs> At the end of the day, they would all leave school together too. This is a type group of friends. This is a type of friendship that lasts a lifetime. 
I've appreciated having this group of friends in my classroom because I knew whatever hour they were all in, it'd be a good hour because of the qualities each one of these brings to the classroom. I knew anytime I had a special project that I needed completed that wasn't for a grade or part of the class, I could ask this group behind me because they are willingly help me with any project I needed. And for that, I thank all of you. I want to end this speech by quoting my grandpa. My grandpa worked at the sewage plant and was a painter for most of his life. His, parent, his painting business never needed to advertise because of word of mouth spread like a wildfire. When he was younger, his dad and him did not get along together, but his dad instilled one value in him. His, my grandpa passed that value on to me. My grandpa would tell me, it doesn't matter if all you do in life is push a broom. But if that's all you do, make sure you're the best broom pusher you can be. As you go out in the world, make sure you're the best that you can be. To all of you, the class of 2020, great job and job well done. Yeah, we did a lot of song. Good. We have a lot of song. Heat up. Okay. Everyone on three. One, two, three. Oh, that was great. That was awesome.